Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to go through a fairly simple straightforward procedure and that's changing the spark plugs on the Perugia. Um It uses a Daihatsu 3 cylinder uh, common rail fuel injection 1 litre twin cam engine. Um, so the Perugia, several models across the range use this engine. Uh, the Daihatsu Move and several other models across the Daihatsu range also use this engine. It's a very commonly used engine, uh, which is uh, it's great because um, these videos will cover a range of Daihatsus and such. Uh, these couple of videos I've done so far. So uh, what we're going to need for this job, it's very straightforward, um, but because they're using coil packs rather than your typical distributor and leads and what have you there are a few things to remove before you get to the spark plug so what we're going to need for this job is a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet you would be able to use a spanner access is quite good so a 10 mil ring spanner would, would suffice but a little quarter inch ratchet is perfect and you will need a, uh, a 5 8 spark plug spanner a slim slimmer this is slimmer than you one you typically get in your half inch socket sets so make sure you've got a 5 8 spark plug spanner a narrow wall because it's down a tube into um, once you get the cover off and uh, and the coil pack you've got to slide it down into the tube in there and in addition to that you will need of course the spark plugs and then the final thing you'll need is a bit of uh, copper grease which is known by various names but essentially copper grease is copper grease if you buy it in the tub it looks like this but enough waffling about that, so copper grease and a couple of sockets and the spark plugs and, uh, and away we'll go, we'll go to the car now and I'll just go through the procedure of accessing the spark plug wells and then swapping out the spark plugs. So here we are in the engine bay with the bonnet removed, uh, the hood, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first thing we'll need to do is remove this air feed tube. Now you can unbolt the box, uncouple everything, lift the whole thing off. but. It fits into a little rubber bung over here which you can pop out and then you can just wiggle this free like so this section here being quite flexible pop that over to one side and then we'll need a 10 mil ratchet or indeed spanner as i say access is quite good a spanner can be used but it will be a bit slower than uh, if you use the ratchet Two pipes to unclip before you go any further. A little air feed pipe, which goes breather from the breather from the uh, uh, the rocker cover into the air filter intake, and this little earth lead just here, and then this simply lifts away. All this is is a protective cover. Just pop that to the side, and underneath here you can see the coil packs. Now I'm going to change this one at the end here. So pull off the little connector. Careful that you don't use the lose the O-ring. I say O-ring, it's actually shaped uh, in the shape of the connector, which is not an O, but hopefully you'll know what I mean there. Careful you don't lose that from inside. And then we've got one more 10 millimeter bolt here, which holds on the coil pack. So remove this bolt and wiggle that free, pop it out. And then we have access to the spark plug down this little hole here. And I just don't plug that one there so I can get to it. The reason I'm doing this one and not doing them in order one, two, three that way, uh, as I said this is a three cylinder engine, is because uh, I'm changing this one because it has an incorrect spark plug fitter, which I'll show you in a moment when we get this one out. So we'll pop that one out of there. Now, as you can see, the bit that's covered in carbon here is the portion that's protruding into the cylinder head now that's a lot of thread protruding into the cylinder head typically you'll only have about that much sometimes even less sometimes that will just be long enough um, so that's the first indication that this is the wrong plug for this cylinder uh, this is an LFR 5B an NGK plug uh, it should actually have a BKR E BKR 5EKC I think it is off the top of my head I'm just going to grab that OK, 
Okay, so aside from the glaringly obvious difference that this has two electrodes, that's really neither here nor there. That's uh, that's just the type of plug. It just happens to be one with a double electrode, which these other two also happen to be, hence the reason I got a matching one. Single or double electrode really doesn't matter. The only difference is with the double electrode one like this is you can't particularly change the gap as such. You can kind of squeeze these in a little bit, move them out a little bit if you have to, but it's certainly not as easy as adjusting the gap on a single electrode plug. However, the big difference, as you can see right there, is the plug length. Now you can see that uh, the one that was fitted is considerably longer and had this um, been a car with where the piston came up much much closer to the top of the cylinder that could have been um, very bad indeed because it could have struck the spark plug. Now fortunately it didn't and obviously that would have been apparent straight away because it would have it would have probably locked when you tried to start it would have probably just hit and struck and locked or even if it, had, if it had moved enough to hit it it would have knocked that and closed the gap up making meaning that it was only going to run on two cylinders and it would have made a definite audible uh, note for you for some un unfathomable reason this plug was fitted instead of another one of these but now I've got a replacement plug what we're, what we're going to do now is take a dab of copper grease and uh, a bit of rag there, as I forgot to mention, just to give your finger a wipe afterwards. So I'm going to take the lid off and get the tiniest dab of copper grease on the end of your finger, like so, and then just smear that around the threads, just around the base. And what will happen? Put a little bit more on there, just just to be sure. What will happen as you tighten this plug in is it will spread this grease throughout the threads and work its way around them and what this does is it creates a barrier between uh, copper grease withstands heat very well as well which is why you use this or molly grease um, what it does is it creates a barrier between the aluminium and the steel or whatever type of metal your plug uh, happens to be made from the thread it creates a barrier between the two preventing electrolytic corrosion so what we do now this is already gapped as I say you can't really adjust these as such so they're pretty much gapped as they are uh, if it's a, a normal um, if it is a normal one I would recommend that you uh, that you check the gap and set that before you fit it so we drop the plug in make sure it's centered in the hole tighten it up by hand first until it reaches the stop going in. There we go. I was wondering for a minute if it had gone into the thread. Thankfully it has. So tighten that up by hand until it stops and then fitting your ratchet with the correct orientation to tighten. You need to nip that up. You'll feel it give a little bit as the washer compresses and then it will get tight. At that point, just, just the briefest nip, that's all you need. People have a tendency to over tighten. Coil pack back on. Remember to plug in the relevant plugs onto the ends of them, as, especially any others, if you've removed others but you're only changing one as I've done here. And then making sure you've got the right bolt because this one's slightly longer than the four that hold the cover on. Just nip that up tightly. When I say tightly, I mean as, as tight as you can comfortably do with a, a quarter inch drive ratchet. It's plenty tight enough. It's not going anywhere fast. And then the plastic cover, making sure that you feed the air pipe and the earth wire back into place over there, clipping them in place and then pop in the four bolts that hold that in place small bolts like this what I tend to do is holding the ratchet like that so that you're not holding it at the end putting more force, more unnecessary torque on hold it like that and then you're just basically using the heel of your hand to apply the torque like so 
and as tight as you can get it with that method is probably tighter than it needs to be so don't over tighten these because it's easy to damage the aluminium that you're fastening into uh, so we've got that, that, that all connected put the air feed back onto here like so slot that on until you feel it clip into place and then feed in the little peg and the little bong at the front there and there we go that's uh, the procedure for changing a uh, changing the spark plugs on the uh, Perugia or Daihatsu three cylinder fuel injection one liter engine so I hope you found that useful And with that done, you can take yourself for a little test drive and uh, make sure that's performing as it should. So there you go, nice easy task for the home mechanic when you're just starting out maintaining your own vehicle. Thank you for watching.